I put the camera where it is because nobody can get to it. However, it's not the best place for it, uh, for me to see what I want to see. I just did a refresh. It does that about every 10 minutes. Because every 10 minutes, if you got a chip in it, every 10 minutes, it starts to record. And it's looking for that chip, which isn't in there right now. But anyway, at this point, um, I got to get the camera closer. Now, at the end of this fence right here, there's a pole sticking up. A four by four and it's probably about another foot and a half higher well actually it's higher than that it's probably about uh well this fence is four foot this part here is four and a half feet five high then we've got another six so that pole is probably about seven and a half feet <clears throat> so when i'm standing there it's about a foot or so over me so that would be a perfect place to put it however it's also a perfect place for somebody to get it if they see it and if they're looking at night the night vision has those red lights so they would probably notice it so I gotta figure out a way of getting it closer but yet keeping it safe and without going into a zone where anybody can reach it you know uh, you know, without them being able to just grabbing it without jumping the fence. <clears throat> to jump the fence, the boys will get them, so I don't have to worry about that. So I got to try to figure out a way. But I don't want to just start sticking posts up throughout the yard, you know. Um, it's bad enough I got an antenna farm in the backyard. I don't want to start making the front yard look any worse. So that's kind of where I'm at. So I gotta figure out exactly what to do. Now, if I didn't have to run 12 volts to it, and it was self-sufficient, I'd stick it up in the tree. But um, you know, with a little solar panel or something, you know, one of those little little one little ones, uh, just to keep a charge on the little battery that I would put up there with it. But again, you know, it, I can make it look like a little birdhouse, basically. But again, it's really, that's a lot of work to go through. It, you know, it's just crazy. If it was out in the wilderness, that'd be a different story. But I got to figure out a way of doing this. Um, I, I could put another uh, galvanized fence post right about here if I wanted to and I don't think it would look all too bad if I had done that I may pound one in a couple of the uh, maybe a foot just to see how it looks and uh, see if it may be feasible for me to do that and, uh, and see what happens I don't know I gotta figure things out today and if it does clear up I want to make sure it's gonna clear up I don't want to load the truck up with lumber or the trailer up with lumber to find out that it's going to pour rain <clears throat> so um, I want to make sure that we're okay but I got to work on something with that as well all right battery's going dead guys and uh, we're into 16 minutes and I don't want to drive you guys totally crazy with nonsense <clears throat> I do appreciate you looking and uh, Matt if you do see this uh, good luck buddy and uh, what my next trick is, my next step is, I want to see if this will pair up with cell phone, the cameras. Because they're working via so-called uh, Bluetooth. They're not working Wi-Fi. They're working a Bluetooth in some way, shape, or form. So I want to see if they'll pair up with the cell phone somehow. Now, I know I have headsets that won't pair up with certain things because there's just you know newer frequencies lesser frequencies stuff like that apparently so um i do have things that are bluetooth that won't pair up with certain items that have bluetooth so i don't know if these cameras will pair up with the cell phone and not for uh, no other reason but just to have it paired i wouldn't be able to actually I don't think no I wouldn't be able to see it if I was away from the house because the Bluetooth is not gonna go that far yeah. all right guys I'll catch you guys later 
All right, I moved the camera. I moved it to the pole that you can't see at this point. Um, I'll show you out there in a minute. Now I've got a really good picture of what I'm looking to see because normally this camera is not here. And there's my neighbor, just got out of his truck. He's checking his tire. He just walked around the back of it and he's going. Right? So I can see all that now. And that's probably about a hundred, yeah, about a hundred feet, maybe, give or take. So, but normally this black trailer that you're seeing, that's not there. So I usually have a good view of everything. And I can see right down the side. And it's closer now, so I will see light from the uh, night vision. Now, you guys hear me talk about, and there's Tucker. You guys hear me talk about voltage and amperage a lot. Well, here's uh, possibly a change, an example of what I'm talking about. This is all 12 volt stuff and it didn't come with any so-called power supplies, transformers or whatever because it's made to go into a vehicle. So on this particular camera, when I had it hooked up where it was prior to this, it was only running about six feet of wire. So a 12 volt, one and a half amp uh, power supply was more than enough. When I ran it now, I ran an additional maybe 25 feet of wire. I engaged, I engaged, I enlarged the gauge of the wire to a, I believe it's 14, maybe 12. And it's what they call a marine grade wire. So it's jacketed as well. And naturally the wire itself is not going to rust because it's marine grade. So the wire is a good wire, but because of the length of the wire, I may have to increase the amperage on that little transformer that I'm using, which is only 1.5 amp, because the camera may start to run hot because it may not be getting the amperage. Now it's getting the voltage and it'll work from 10 volt to 30 volt. So the voltage is fine but it's the amperage that I'm concerned about right now. Um, 1.5 amp is, is pretty good. Um, you know, I have to look up to find out what it actually wants. So I got to look at the information on the card that comes with the camera. See, when you buy the, the package, it comes with a book and it comes with a card, both in the same box. You have the monitor and the book is how to use the monitor and how to hook it up and the card tells you all the information about the camera so i want to look at the card to find out just what that camera is looking for so i know exactly what to give it because if it's too little it'll premature pre prematurely <laughs> there you go here we go we'll spit that one out a few times prematurely wear out pre 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 it'll wear out quicker how's that one i need more coffee um so that's where we're at but where it is, is definitely a better position for it. I like it where it is. And I hooked it up as number two in here because I have this camera two in the house. So I can correspond with the same. If I were to add another camera, I would make that my number one. You follow? But at least this number two matches the screen in the house setting of number two. Huh, Nick? Yeah. Uh, you know it's damp it's chilly you're outside and it's really not comfortable but you sweat at the same time you know what I mean it's just a miserable day uh, I I want to take a ride to Home Depot I just don't know I, I probably will just get it over with you know this way tomorrow I don't have to go nuts tomorrow being Monday uh, which would be uh, whatever I don't know how many days are in this month where are we in April? Um, today is April 29th, 2018. I've said this once before, I believe. And it is right now 1343, uh, 1334. So, and uh, again, we're on the East Coast. 
So, what do I got to do next? I got to finish the camera. I did, before I did any extra mounting and making it permanent, I want to make sure it works. It works. It's in place. All I got to do now is put a little cover over the top so it won't be accessible for anybody to get. And I am done. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'll be back.